In the tense atmosphere of the Cold War, high-altitude interceptors played a critical role in defending their nation's airspace. These aircraft were designed for one purpose, to reach the upper limits of the atmosphere and eliminate potential threats. From the F-106 Delta Dart to the MiG-25 Foxbat, their development has transformed the arc of aviation history. The F-106 Delta Dart the Convair F-106 Delta Dart was an American interceptor aircraft developed as a successor to the F-102 Delta Dagger. It was designed to overcome the limitations of its predecessor by incorporating advanced avionics, a more powerful engine, and superior armament. The Delta Dart could achieve a top speed of Mach 2.3 and reach a service ceiling of 57,000 feet. Originating from the United States Air Force's 1954 interceptor program, the Delta Dart was developed to counter the escalating Soviet bomber threat. Aerospace giant Convair secured the contract to create this new interceptor, with the design team led by Robert H. Widmer. The F-106 took its maiden flight on December 26, 1956. Throughout the Cold War, Delta Dart pilots frequently intercepted Soviet bombers and reconnaissance aircraft that ventured near U.S. airspace. In a notable incident on October 27, 1961, Captain Thomas M. Heflin, piloting an F-106, intercepted a Soviet Tu-95 bear bomber off the coast of Cape Cod, Massachusetts. The F-106's cutting-edge avionics, such as the MA-1 fire control system, enabled it to automatically search, detect, track, and intercept enemy aircraft without the pilot's input. Although initially unreliable, this groundbreaking system significantly enhanced the Delta Dart's effectiveness and response time establishing it as a formidable force in the sky. The F-104 Starfighter The Lockheed F-104 Starfighter was an American interceptor designed by famed engineer Kelly Johnson. Known as the missile with a man in it, the F-104 was built for speed, capable of reaching Mach 2.2, and boasted a service ceiling of close to 60,000 feet. Its thin, short wings gave it excellent performance at high altitudes, but made it less stable at lower velocity. The F-104 suffered from a high accident rate, but its speed and high altitude capabilities made it a formidable interceptor. The Starfighter was developed in response to the Korean War experience, which underscored the need for a high-speed, high-altitude interceptor. Kelly Johnson, the chief engineer at Lockheed Skunk Works, set out to create an aircraft that would be faster and more maneuverable than any existing fighter. The F-104 made its maiden flight on March 4, 1954, and quickly gained a reputation as a fearsome high-altitude interceptor. The Starfighter's primary strength was its incredible speed, which allowed it to engage enemy aircraft quickly. Its overall design, combined with its powerful J-79 engine, made it capable of sustained Mach 2 flight, a significant achievement at the time. The Starfighter also boasted an impressive climb rate, which enabled it to reach high altitudes rapidly. However, the aircraft's thin wings, while excellent for high-speed flight, made it less stable and more challenging to control at lower speeds. Its short range, due to limited fuel capacity, also restricted its operational capabilities. During the Cold War, starfighters served as frontline interceptors for NATO countries, tasked with intercepting Soviet bombers and reconnaissance aircraft. Italian Air Force F-104 aircraft regularly intercepted Soviet Tu-16 Badgers over the Mediterranean. The English Electric Lightning the English Electric Lightning was a British interceptor with an impressive climb rate and a top speed of Mach 2. The aircraft's official ceiling was a closely guarded secret, but it is thought to be in excess of 60,000 feet. Its distinctive twin-engine configuration and delta-wing design made it a powerful interceptor. However, its limited fuel capacity affected its range, and the Lightning faced challenges with early missile systems. The Lightning was developed by industrial giant English Electric in response to the United Kingdom's need for a high-speed, high-altitude interceptor to counter the Soviet bomber threat. The Lightning made its first flight on August 4, 1954. Throughout the Cold War, English Electric Lightnings intercepted Soviet bombers and reconnaissance aircraft approaching British airspace. In a famous 1962 incident, a Lightning piloted by Flight Lieutenant Brian Carroll intercepted a Soviet Tu-95 Bear bomber over the North Sea, taking photographs before escorting it out of the area. The Lightning's distinctive stacked twin-engine configuration provided exceptional power and climb rate, making it one of the fastest climbing interceptors of its era. 
adept at engaging high-altitude threats. The MiG-25 Foxbat. The MiG-25, known by its NATO reporting name Foxbat, was a Soviet interceptor designed for high-speed, high-altitude engagements. With a top speed of at least Mach 2.83 and a service ceiling of about 80,000 feet, the MiG-25 was one of the fastest and highest-flying aircraft of its time. Its large size and powerful engines made it a formidable interceptor, although its maneuverability was limited. The MiG-25 was developed in response to the growing threat of American high-altitude reconnaissance and bomber aircraft. The Soviet Union needed an interceptor capable of reaching extreme speeds and altitudes to counter these threats. The MiG-25 made its first flight on March 6, 1964. The Foxbat's most significant strength was its incredible speed and altitude capabilities, which allowed it to quickly intercept and engage enemy aircraft. Its powerful engines and large size made it a fearsome adversary, and its radar system was capable of detecting targets at long ranges. However, the MiG-25's engines were also prone to overheating, and pilots had to be cautious not to push the aircraft beyond its limits to avoid serious engine damage. The J-35 Draken The Saab Draken was a Swedish interceptor designed to defend the country's airspace from potential threats during the Cold War. Its unique double delta wing design allowed it to reach a top speed of Mach 2 and a service ceiling of 65,000 feet. The Draken's compact size and excellent maneuverability made it a capable interceptor, but it faced limitations with its early missile systems. The Draken was developed by Swedish aircraft manufacturer Saab to meet the Swedish Air Force's need for a high-performance interceptor that could operate from short and austere airfields. The aircraft was designed by Eric Bratt, with the unique double-delta wing configuration providing excellent high-speed performance and low-speed stability. The Draken made its first flight on October 25, 1955. The Draken's primary strength was its excellent maneuverability, made possible by its unique double-delta wing design. This allowed the aircraft to perform well in both high-speed intercepts and low-speed dogfights. The Draken's compact size and ability to operate from short runways also made it a versatile and adaptable interceptor.